you, Richard, so I thought I'd... Hey, I knew the song. I could have won you? a thousand. Yeah. One of the most classic riffs of all time. But, you know, people are having a tough time with money now, and I figured, hey, unless you're an absolute idiot, you'd win a thousand bucks, you know? <laughs> that guy's going to be a student. And... Well, he's uh, real happy to be on your show, I guess, just like me, huh? Speaking of students, let me take you back in touch. What no, no, wait a minute. Wait. Go in. What are they supposed to say? <laughs> Hey, that's great. Oh, thanks. Oh, I feel a lot better now. I'm breathing better. Thanks. Let me take you back in time, Richard. If you had not been injured in school, you know where you'd be right now? I'd be over in the Gulf right now. That's you know right. it. Flying one of those jets over there. Because you were in Annapolis, weren't you? That's right. Uh, my father was uh, 34 years a fighter pilot over in Korea. Right. And, um, it, it uh, seems to me that I would have been over there had God not stepped in and pulled my right foot off my leg in a football game. Uh, <laughs> he opened up new things for me. I, uh, I discovered uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, he had gone to West Point for a year, and uh, I stayed at Annapolis for a year to say that I received the uh, plebe stripe, saying that I made it through your year, and now I'm going for cultural and artistic happiness. And so... Uh, the last thing you do is say goodbye to the admiral, and he makes everything sound great. My God, if you, you know? talked to him like that, they'd have kicked you out of the school. What? So. Well, like what? Wait, <laughs> did I do something no, wrong? No, 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 just kidding. Uh, yeah, he makes everything sound great. He has a tennis court in his backyard. You yeah. know? I mean, he's not standing up against the wall there. Um, but uh, I'm the most patriotic. You know, I, you know at midnight tomorrow night, uh, I hope uh, we get a report five minutes from then uh, to say uh, that uh, the threat has been... Uh, uh, rid of, and we can all come home. Uh, the cheap applause. <laughs> no, that's real. No. That, that is real. It is real. It is real. And, and you know, everybody is just infested with thoughts of this. Uh, the first, this, this weekend, for example, I can't remember a time that I watched C-SPAN for the entire time to watch Congress, both houses, get together and debate this. And they support Some of the, the most eloquent eloquent speaking I've ever heard in my life on both sides. Very inspirational. Um, sound like a... Mar is it, am I sweating that much? Or my God, do you have a towel or something? I got a... I got... Let's tell you what, I'm you inspired know. tonight. I take off. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Rough crowd. Oh, oh. I tell you, no respect. <laughs> Look you. at you. Man, I, t I brought think a that's, raincoat here. There's, oh. there's, you know... Women think there's something sexy about a, a man who, who sweats, you know. Good that, thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> oh, thank you. God bless you, Wait, He's already filled up one. Oh, he's going to fill up another one. Uh, Get out of here. What are you doing? Is that an indication? <laughs> Throw in the towel. Kind yeah. of thing? No. Uh, you wanted to be a lawyer at first. That's right, but I can't talk, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, they write your lines for you in the movies, you know. So, 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 what were the big change? Because I mean, from Annapolis to to being a lawyer to talking to the admiral, I mean, that's um, a long way away from from acting. I followed a girlfriend of mine to the theater one night. She asked me if I wanted a beer, and I got there, and <laughs> there weren't any beers there. You know, they were auditioning for this play. Yeah. Uh, it was Butterflies of Free. Do you remember that oh, movie yeah, yeah. about the blind boy in New York? Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but I watched him audition. I said, hey, wait a minute. I, I'm not an actor, but uh, hey, let, can I try that? And the guy said, yeah, come on down here. And I said, look, uh, I never heard anyone bring up blindness. I mean, you're going to do a play about a blind boy. You've never brought up blindness. What, you know, I, I don't want to read unless I convince you that I can be blind. He right. goes, well, go ahead. And I stared blankly out at him, just like I do my parents, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he goes, that's great. Would you read for us? I said, yeah, I wish I could. I'm blind. But uh, I went ahead and read. I went ahead and read. We got that beer that night. That was uh, on a Thursday night. And on Tuesday night, the uh, uh, following week, she goes, have you been by the theater department? I said, no, I haven't. She says, you better go by there. Uh, and I went by, and sure enough, I was the lead role in the play. And, and started everything. I, I, oh, man. Uh, opening night, I sweated more than this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rough crowd. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you um, came out to L.A., came out to Hollywood. You had $100 in your pocket, and at least that's what they say. That's Every, right. A lot of people say that. Did you really have $100? I really did. I, oh, is this something? It's not starting <laughs> I already. I think it started. It? Yeah, I did. I think it started. <laughs> Man, you know when those balloons popped a little while ago, too, man. Woo! I think we're all on edge. I tell you, I, I, uh, 
I came out with $100 on the Greyhound bus. I waved goodbye to my, my brother, and he said he'd counted them. There's 47 people here to see you go be in the movies. You better do it. Held my thumb out. I was so proud, you know. I was a little scared, and there were 40, no band or anything, but there right. were 47 people, and I, I was like, all right, I'm out of here. And, they, and the bus pulled out, and it's going to make the block to get on the freeway. And, uh, and, and I looked over the lady across from me, and I said, hey, uh, where are you going? She goes, Cincinnati. I said, you're on the wrong bus, honey. She <laughs> goes, ah, you know, and ran up to the front, came back. I said, what's wrong? She goes, you're on the wrong bus. <laughs> oh, man. Now, how would I know that? <laughs> He's in kindergarten job. Richard Tyson. I was surprised that the guy from Glenn Hurston would come back, too.